the market for media streaming devices is a crowded one. Roku, Amazon, Google, and Apple are offering consumers a plethora of pucks, sticks and boxes designed to bring Netflix, Hulu and more to consumers' TVs. However, a small but growing group of cord cutters and digital media enthusiasts is instead swearing on a device produced by an unlikely competitor, graphics card maker NVIDIA and its Shield TV setup, which just received some major updates. When NVIDIA first introduced the Shield 2015, it was primarily viewed as a slimmed-down game console, capable of streaming video games directly from the cloud. The device, which initially sold in two configurations for $199 and $299 respectively, had little in common with inexpensive media streamers from the likes of Roku and Amazon. For one, it shipped with a full-fledged game controller in the box. And then there were the high-powered innards, which were also more closely resembling a game console than a cheap streaming box. We built a custom processor, said Shield General Manager Ali Khani during a recent interview with Variety. NVIDIA also decided to put 3 GB of RAM into the device and shipped the higher-end version with an integrated 500 GB hard drive. And the Shield hits the top of the specs in almost any other measure as well, it streams 4K and HDR and supports Dolby Atmos surround sound. We overinvested in the hardware, admitted Connie. But the company also had an inkling that media may be a big opportunity as well. The TV hadn't changed that much, said Connie. NVIDIA's hunch was that this would quickly change if it would give developers a full-fledged app store and the ability to run powerful apps in a multitasking environment. In other words, make it possible to run services 24-7 and not just when a user decides to open or close a streaming app. There is gonna be a need for computing power, said Connie. You need these specs, you need this performance. In the case of the Shield, this build it, and they will come approach actually worked. Plex teamed up with NVIDIA to build a special version of its software for the streamer that works both as a server and a client, doing away with the need to run a separate PC or home server to manage one's media collection, a first for the media center app maker.